Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elias Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. Now let's go to Catherine for Today in History. Thank you, Eliah. Hey, Patriots. In today's history, November 28th, 1895, the first car race in America was held in Chicago by Chicago Times Herald. It was 55 miles long and had a $5,000 grand prize, which is about $150,000 in today's money. There were hundreds of people outside, and many of the drivers even made their own cars out of stuff at home. There were carriages, bins, and even wagons. Have you ever been to a car race? Now let's check in with Daniela for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is corn dog, Italian sandwich, seasoned Italian veggies, red bell pepper, garden side salad, sliced pears, and yorkshire and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, fruit loops, string cheese, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, and yorkshire and milk. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Elia. That sounds scrumptious. Tomorrow, 5th and 6th will have their turn at the Patriot Store. And remember that the store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to manage your time in order to come on early. Patriots, remember to keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times and there's no chewing gum in school. So please spit it out before entering the building. Here are this week's top kickboard teachers. So motivating. Thank you, teachers. Special announcement for boys in grades 5th through 8th. You will all have the opportunity to try out for our very own Rex Pines basketball team. To be able to try out, you must have at least a 2.5 GPA or higher in a completed sports physical. The trials will be held on December 5th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Today, first graders will have their reading NWA, and tomorrow, second graders will have their reading NWA, while third and fifth have their NWA math. Don't sweat, just do your best. Guess what? In the new year, 2024, we will have another instructional software challenge starting from October 23rd through January 19th. And next year reward will be much better than the breakfast party because now you will have pizza and popsicles. It's a sweet sugary goodness mixed with cheesy goodness. If I were you, I would work hard for this challenge. Our fun is held at the amazing fun run. This fun run will be at its peak with all the fun you can imagine. There will be games, action, color, and you could have the chance to win a PlayStation 5. In order to join, you just have to ask your parents to sign you up and collect some donations in order for you to go. This will be all the rage. It starts on the 14th through 15th of December. Will you raise enough? In just two days, it will be officially December. So what better way to enjoy this festive month by having an ugly sweater party? It will be on Friday the 15th from 6 to 9 p.m. And when you attend the event, you will have to pay a fee of $15, that's including a meal. Don't be rash and join this fun bash. Now let's jump over to school sports with Samara. On November 18th, before the break, we had our first set of elementary soccer league games. Here's how it all went down. In game one, kinder and first grade teams enter Miami versus Orlando City kicked off the season with an exciting high scoring game with a final score of 10 to eight. The players of the game for Inter Miami were number 13, Sofia Almanzer, and number five, Chase Vandiva. The players of the game for Orlando City were number one, Fernando Estrada, and number three, Rodney Forston. In game two, New York City FC versus FC Dallas, they had a final score of six to four. Players of the game for Dallas FC were number seven, Oren Watson, and number zero, Mateo Ramirez Garcia. For New York City FC, number four, Story Claxton, and number nine, Zane Relaford. And jumping up to the big kids, here are the second 
to fourth grade gamer looks. In game three, Inter Miami versus Orlando FC, the results were a seven to seven tie. And in the final game, Miami versus New York, the score was also a tie four to four. Players of the game for Orlando were num number 15, Alice Rodriguez, and number four, Liam Velasquez. Inter Miami number 15, Aiden Seant, and number nine, Diego Vega. And game four, players of the game for New York FC were number 14, Jose Fernandez, and Deontay Culver. What an awesome job, athletes. Now over to Nia for today's weather. Thank you, Samara. Hi, Patriots. Today's weather is 73 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Take the opportunity to get outdoors. In other weather news, the 2023 Comedy Wildlife Winner was announced Thursday. This competition is about people competing with their most funny videos of wildlife. The competition raises money to support different animal conservation each year, and the lucky winner gets a one-week safari in Kenya in an epic trophy. This year's winner was Air Guitar Roo. That kangaroo is a true rocking roo. Let us wish our patriots happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Nia. Today's birthday girl is Ariana Soto, and our Rex Pines teacher, Miss Talentino. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Aliyah. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Jordan, Miss Arnold, Miss Samuel, and Miss Greg for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was which blood type is a universal donor? The correct answer was O negative. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What can be touched but can't be seen? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a tremendous Tuesday. Have an awesome day.